on Facebook. Um, the character I'm cosplaying right now is Sailor Uranus from Sailor Moon. Um, and I chose this character because she's one of my favorites from the series. Um, she has that really cool chick vibe. She's a tomboy and she's someone that I wish I could be. Um, so that's why I chose this outfit. Um, and this outfit is very different from the original because it's a super outfit. It has some different items like the shoulder wings. Um, the brooch right here is a heart shape and also the neck piece has the star. Um, and for this outfit, um, I used a tutorial that I found um, online and I based, um, I used that tutorial as a base for this costume um, to make it and put everything together. Um, it took a couple months but this is one of my dream cosplays and I'm really happy and excited to finally debut it here at Momocon. Um, I'm cosplaying as Ruricio from the manga um, Inuex Boku or Yokai S Boku. Um, <laughs> but um, I chose her though because I felt like I related to the characters more. And I chose um, it from the manga opposed to the anime because I like the design of her um, cosplay or her outfit better. And this took about a month total, and the staff is a PCP pipe, and this is foam board, so it's pretty flexible. And the horns are made out of foam, and with a glue coating over it, mixed with um, putty, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Eleanor Lamb from Bioshock 2. I chose this incredible cosplay because Eleanor is an amazing female character. She's strong and devoted and powerful. I just love it. Um, the costume is mostly made out of paper mache and craft foam. Uh, mostly because I can't really afford thermoplastics yet, but I'm really excited to start using that with eventual cosplays in the future. But thanks so much, guys. Hi, um, I'm Adrienne Morris, and this is Kim Possible. And Kim Possible is from Disney Channel's Kim Possible. Um, so the next question is, what? Why did I chose Kim Possible? Probably because I wanted to do something a little different. Because I'm a little bit tired of just doing anime over and over again. So I wanted to do something that's more Western. And because I thought Kim, well, you know, Kim Possible is my childhood hero. She's pretty much everybody in this generation. It's she's their childhood hero. So I think it's really fun to walk around a convention and everybody. Um, says, oh, it's Kim Possible. I, I love that show. Um, and, then, and this cosplay actually wasn't that hard to make. It just, I ordered this shirt because I'm not very good at sewing. So I found like a belly shirt online. They weren't that hard. A little tight though, unfortunately. Um, and these pants, they are actually out of my dresser. Um, I just, they, were, they came brown and I just dyed them green. So that worked out. And the belt, I actually tried to make myself. It's not a very good belt. I'm probably gonna try to make a better one in the future. I had to order a utility belt online and then I dyed it and painted it and, until it looks at least a little bit like Kim Possible. Uh, her belt. And the wig I ordered online. I'm Finn from Adventure Time and I chose this character because he's really charismatic and always wanting to adventure. And uh, most of the costume is store bought, like the shirt and the pants. The sword is all made from balsa or from basswood and it's all sanded down and painted by hand. And uh, that's it. I'm Marceline. I'm also from Adventure Time. Um, I chose my character because she's kind of dark, but she's also really funny. Um, and I think most of my costume was store-bought as well. Um, I put bows on the shoes, um, and I made my guitar out of insulation. My character's name is Lambda11 from Blaze Blue Continuum Shift. Um, I chose it because I have a horrible, horrible love for really strong female characters, especially ones who are armored and aren't, you know, just sexy as their main appeal. Um, 
a lot of work went into this. I think probably like almost three straight months of work. Uh, it's won an award at Comic Con in Alabama. There were like three people that kind of just held stuff and sanded for me and just helped me out with it. And uh, it's probably, I did it on the cheap, so it was actually under $250, I think. Um, but I think the hardest part of all of it was the legs because they're like gigantic platforms because the character herself walks on point. So I'm probably about six foot two and I'm normally about five foot eight in this. So, but it was really, really fun to make. And even though I kind of just like shuffle around, it's really fun to kind of like walk around and be like, hey, I made this. So that's my costume. And my name is Abby Ados Cosplay. Hi, I'm Super Mario from the Super Mario Brothers franchise. And this is my closet costume. Everything I have, um, I have from the house, except my mustache and my new hat, the prosthetics were added, and the wig I already had. The shirts from Goodwill, and the gloves I already had, and the overalls are my father's. And I chose this costume just because I really, really love Super Mario. I love it.